Charles Wilhelm has become known as one of the country's top trainers for both horses and people. His approach to training focuses on educating the horse owner alongside their equine partners so they can form a strong bond and achieve an amazing partnership. I get horses there all the time. I got people that come in to me and I've had people just bring the horse in and say they can't get it to back up. They got a big old leverage bit with the chain on it, which is nothing wrong with a leverage bit, but just an inappropriate tool. When I'm reschooling the horse, I usually use a hackamore. This horse goes into a bridle. But when I'm reschooling, I use a hackamore or a snaffle. All right, so, but what they do is they pull, the horse locks up. Once that horse locks up, you can't do anything. So I'm gonna show you a little something that you can do. So if I back it up my horse and it locks up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the, the hocks, I mean the, the hind end around and ask with a soft cue and break up that movement. In other words, what I'm doing is putting energy into the feet. Like that, put energy into the feet, get the feet moving, then ask. Now eventually, we want to get to a point, I just barely take out the slack of the rein. Now, she did pretty good in the beginning, but the cannon could look at the tracks, especially my close-up up here. You can see how much she's dragging. Not all horses are great backuppers. They'll get some kind of drag in their feet, okay? Just kind of normal. Horses that have a tendency to be a little steppy, um, they'll, they'll back up nice. So, and the speed, you don't work on the speed until you get them backing up correctly, okay? Relax, okay. Now, here's something else. When the horse starts backing up and it's backing crooked, it's, a, that it's this way backing up to the right, Pull on the left rein, put your right leg, and when the horse backs straight, release. Okay. What I see all the time, now in the beginning, maybe the first five or six times, I'm not too concerned about straightness, just getting the feet to move. Then as the feet start to move, and then I can ask the horse <clears throat> to straighten up. I can get better head elevation. Uh, I can work on speed, but only when I know I can get uh, the feet moving. Okay. Now, so another thing you can do, let's pretend there's a, we had to do this out in the arena where I have no rail because the covered arena is not good light, that there's a, a, a fence in front of us. What I would do is walk that horse right up whoop, and kind of bounce off that fence. Okay, that can help. Another thing I can do to get a horse to start backing up, to locking up, pull on one rein this way, pull on one rein this way, pull on one rein this way, this way, and this way until I feel the feet back up and then release. So there's no, there's no set way uh, to teach that horse to back up. I can tell you that when you back up your horse is we're going to bring the reins, the direction of the reins towards the outside of your hip, okay, in the beginning. Now, once I get my horse going pretty good and, and I'm teaching him to start working with one rein, I can kind of teaching the Romel rein it. In other words, bring my hand right here, down here. So when he lifts up that head, it blocks and then release. And we're going to bring out another horse and, and show you one that hopefully does a better job for you. When these start dragging their feet, it's tough to get them back. It just takes a lot of time and patience. All right, that. And so I hope that gives you a good hand in helping your horse and teaching your horse to back up. 
We hope you've enjoyed watching Charles Wilhelm's Ultimate Foundation Horsemanship. Remember, to find out more about Charles and to see how you can get the most out of your relationship with your horse, visit Charles online at charleswilhelm.com.